ask YouTube, it's Zerko, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a stretched resolution in Fortnite Chapter 6. Before the video starts, I would really appreciate it if you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. Getting a stretched resolution is actually really good if you have a low to mid NPC and you want a little bit of higher FPS, so this will help you a lot. So the first step we're going to do is actually go ahead and go down here into the Windows tab, and it will open up this file. Now here you want to search for Fortnite game. Once you find it, go ahead and press on it, then go to save, then config, then Windows client, and you find a folder here called game user settings. Now before opening it, just right click on it, go into show more options, and make sure in properties that the attributes read only is unchecked. If this is checked, then nothing will be actually changed inside the game. So make sure it is unchecked, apply it, press OK, and now open up the folder. As you can see, this is the folder. Now here you wanna scroll down, or uh, if you don't find it, just press edit, and then go to find, and make sure to type here size, X. As you can see, it took me down here into resolution size X and resolution size Y. And also down here, you have the desired screen width and the last uh, user confirmed desired screen width. Both of these options, these and these, you want to make sure to change them onto the stretch resolution that you want. Now, there are a lot of stretch resolutions in game. Uh, if you have a really, really low NPC and you need the boost, 800 by 600, I think is the lowest uh, stretch resolution but if you have a medium uh, PC that you want a slightly stretch resolution in then 1720 by 1080 is the best resolution for you so change all of these numbers as you can see resolution size x 1720 y to 1080 same with these ones and down here also 1720 once you do all of those make sure to save and then you can close this out and now we can go ahead and open up the game and try this resolution it really feels really good the input delay is not bad at all and the fps is really stable i'll try to uncap the fps so you can see how much we're getting so as you can see i'm getting about 200 50 fps but yeah 250 is the highest 260 even sometimes so it is pretty good i have a gtx 1650 so that is great pretty good for uh this graphics card uh and it is a pretty good boost from what we had before but you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to this one but yeah i'll see you in the next one peace